So here I have a beaker of just plain water. Um, I do have some frozen ice here and some liquid water on the tabletop from when I poured it earlier. But I have a beaker here of liquid water and into it we're just going to toss a small piece of dry ice. What do you notice? It's like almost <laughs> It's not, I've never heard it described as farting before, but it is bubbling, yes, giving off gas. Um, what else do you notice? It's like bobbing it's like up and down. Coming down. Up okay, it is kind of bobbing up and down. That's because there's so much gas being produced that the gas is kind of lifting it up as it tries to go. The gas is certainly lighter than water. It's it's less dense than, I should say, less dense than water. Uh, and so then it, it jumps up, uh, but then it falls back down. And that's, again, just because the bubbles are kind of forcing it up. Why um, doesn't the gas come out? Or, like, it looks like it's just staying there. Yeah. It, it is kind of just staying there. And there is a, is a reason for that. A lot of that is because of how much I'm jumping and waving around up here and it kind of blows it away. And then part of it too is deals with the density of the gas, which we'll get to here in just a moment. But there's one other big thing no one's pointing out to me. What happens when you put ice in water? What's it do? It okay, it cracks a little. That's that's from some temperature changes. It floats. That's the big thing I'm looking for. It certainly makes it uh, pop cold and it might hear some cracking, creaking. But it floats. What's this here do? Sinks. sinks. Therefore, it must be heavier. not so much heavier, but more dense than. More dense than. And we'll talk about what density actually is later in the year and how it differs from heaviness, quote unquote. But it is more dense than water there, so it sinks down to the bottom. Most solids are more dense than their liquids. Water is actually one of the exceptions uh, where the solid will float on the liquid. But if we were able to have liquid carbon dioxide, and it is possible to have that, and put solid carbon dioxide in there, it would sink. Most solids sink in their liquids. Molten metal, toss in a piece of the same metal, it will sink usually. Again, usually there are exceptions. Water, though, our most common example of frozen stuff, it also happens to be, well, I can't say our most common example of frozen stuff. Uh, one of the most common examples of a solid uh, ends up sinking. Now, here it did just pop back up and start to float. The reason is for that. Uh, it's a tiny piece, one, so the bubbles are helping buoy it up. Uh, but the biggest reason is it's in water here, and it's much colder than the water, uh, the dry ice is. So what's that going to do uh, then to the water around it? Cold. It's going to make it cold, and eventually if we get liquid water cold enough, it's going to freeze. And so then when it freezes, it will, uh, the, it depends on if there's enough frozen water there around the dry ice, it can actually carry the dry ice up with it uh, as it gets encased in uh, liquid water. Very good point.